Hello, I'm just waiting for a few more to come in before I start. Hi, Rosa. How's your day going? Are you um, from watercolors this morning? So I'm about to uh, put the color on this box. And um, cooking some lunch. Are you using watercolors this morning? Turn my speaker up just a bit. How's that? Is that better? And uh, so to recap just a little bit, I painted this black with gesso and then I put the crackle on wet and then I put the color on. And it's a nice cream color. I can get this open. Doesn't look too good on the inside, but that's okay. We'll fix that up with the um, embellishments. Oh, okay. <laughs> and so I'm going to put the, this is still a little tacky, but not much. It's mostly dry. And so now I've got to put the color on this. And let's see if it's going to crackle. And I chose this color. It's a rust color. I thought it would look really nice um, to go with this, the steampunk. Oh, that would be nice. I gotta get more into other things, I think. So I'm kind of anxious to see how this is going to turn out on the dry. See what technique is best. Let's see if it's going to crackle. I don't see too much crackling going on. Yes, it is a real pretty color, kind of like a brick color. So I don't think this is going to crackle. I'm going to put a little bit more on, and then if I have to, I'll put some more crackle medium on it. Hi, Lisa. Are you awake now? <laughs> I know I get up pretty early in the morning. So, I don't think it's going to crackle. 
It's a little bit right there. Maybe I should give it a few minutes. I think it crackles best wet. It is starting to a little bit. Okay, we're one hour's difference. Yeah, that would be getting up at uh, six your time. I would be on six your time. So this isn't doing much crackling. I am going to leave this, let's see. Hi. Glad you made it back. So I've got the, the color on this one and it's not doing much crackling. So I'm going to uh, I want to see how this looks. So I think that is a much better way of doing it, putting it on wet. And this just doesn't look good going on dry. But I'm going to leave it like this. I might paint over this. I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to put some crackle on this one before I put the color on. And I'm going to set this up like that. Now I'm going to use this crackle. This one came from Joann's. I, I think they're going to be about the same. So I'll put the crackle on and then I'll put the color on. Let's see. And I want it to crackle really nice. So I'm going to put it on pretty thick. This one already has a coat of crackle, but I don't think it's going to turn out dried. Get a nice coat. Yeah, I'm going steampunk on both of these boxes. And I'm trying two different crackles. And this is the second one. This one seems to be a little thinner. Okay, so this one's wet. Now I'm going to go back to the color and put that on. Well, this is my first, my first time using Crackle. I'm 
I'm using this rust color. I said to do one stroke. No, uh -uh. this was, we were supposed to have a live tonight with Brandy doing embellishment boxes, but she's sick. So I'm, I'm just getting the, the box ready to decorate. So when she does go live, it will be all ready to go. Yeah. So that's starting to crackle. Okay, I'm gonna put this one down, get the next one. This one I got to put more crackle on it because I know it's not going to crackle. When the paper's kind of coming loose uh, from the inside of the box, and I'll fix that later. You know, I think I used the wrong bottle, but it's okay. Okay. Hmm. 
No, you didn't. No, I'm glad you uh, you said something because um, sometimes I don't go look. But I probably would have. I like to watch uh, the contest endings. I want to see who wins. And so I was surprised. Okay. And you know if I like this color. It's, yeah, it's like a rust. This was a sample from Lowe's that someone returned. So it's almost eight ounces for a um, dollar. And boy, you can't buy that over at the hobby stores. So even if you paid full price of three seventy five dollars for a sample bottle, that's pretty cheap. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? It kind of looks like mahogany. Yeah, it, it is. I've got three or four bottles now of their sample colors that were a dollar. Whenever I go in there, I check. I think I've gone all the way around. Extra powder. What's that? I don't have any, I bet. <laughs> I like clothes. I've been shopping there for ever since they opened up. I used to go shopping there for my dad. He liked Lowe's too. We all we always went shopping at Lowe's, me and him. Uh, but when he passed, it was hard for me to go in there for a couple of years. But now it's okay. So I guess all we have to do now is wait for it to crackle. And it is crackling a little bit. It's not like the, the first box I did. And I'll I'll do the bottom later. Yeah, go check them out. Get some and this is nice house paint. It's an acrylic.
and it comes off your hands real easy. Nice clean up. So I put this on pretty thick on both. So we'll it's going to take a little bit, I think, to crackle, but it's crackling really nice. Now, if you get crackle on your hands, it's it's pretty sticky. It's kind of like putting getting triple thick or anything like that on your hands, but it comes off really easy. So oh, this one, I don't think it's going to crackle as much. Oh, yeah, it's crackling quite a bit, a little bit there. Now this paint was put on the dry and this one's put on wet, the crackle wet. Oh, sand granules, okay. Yeah, I think I've seen somebody do that with steampunk. And then this was the first one I did this morning. I really like this color though. Well, I hope everybody tries it um, and post your results. I would love to see your results. Who knows? Maybe I did it wrong. But I did both methods. I might paint this again. Uh, I think I'm going to paint it the cream, go over it with cream. So I'll try it again. Because you can have different layers, I think, can't you? Just put uh, cream on top of this and crackle it again. Cover most of this rust up. So this one's uh, this one's doing really nice. Taking the edges. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't see it. Let me see if I can lift it. Oh, that's pretty. Let's see if I can turn it. Here's the other side. I got the paper is starting to lift, but it'll be okay. Yeah, everybody go get some crackle. It you can get it for oh four dollars a bottle with a coupon. If you wanted, could you rub some of the rust paint off? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub on more color. Uh, once I get the, the metal pieces on, I'm going to be rubbing um, more metallics on it. And it's going to cover up some. I'm going to rub on the blue. And I think I've got a green. I've got silver and gold. So I'm going to rub that on. So yeah, you can really load it up with lots of things. So all the metal has to have um, well, a coating, I would say. So you can rub it on or paint it on, whatever, whatever you want to do. So and I'm even going to put a doily on a couple of these and and paint over that. I've seen that done. You can 
You can use flowers and stuff. Yep, sand it off, rub it off. Whatever you want to do, just play, play and experiment and please show us. I think that would be nice if we could see other people do this. Well, this is real exciting watching paint dry. <laughs> oh boy. I don't think I can use the heat gun on it though, huh? So what else is everybody doing today? Go get some paint and go get some crackle. <laughs> Yeah, whenever Brandy comes on live at night, uh, I will be putting the metal on these and um, putting some more color on them. I don't, I don't think we're going to do it tonight. She's not feeling too good. Hi, Cam. How you doing? We're watching paint dry. <laughs> So this morning, I'm going to change this one up a little bit. I did this one. This is just black gesso on a box that I got from Dollar Tree, you know, the dollars. And I put the black gesso on, and then I put the crackle, and then I put a cream coat color on it. And this is what happened. And a couple of suggested try putting it on dry after the the just or the crackle dries. So I did that, and this is how that turned out. And it's okay. It, it didn't crackle as much as the top part did. So that this was kind of an experiment today because I'd never done this before. So we kind of played around with it a little bit. And this one's going to be a steampunk box. And then this one I just did. This was a dry box and I I decided to pour, put more white crackle on it. And then I put the copper color on it. So we're kind of waiting for it to crackle. And I think I kind of like the cream color best. It's really nice on the side. Kind of looks like marble. And the paper is buckling a little bit. This was just a little paper box. But it'll be fine. It'll harden up. There's Andrea. And of course, I'll have to do the inside and do all the trimming and stuff. I'll have plenty of time. Oh, yeah, you can do that, too, Lisa. Um, I'm just going to do steampunk. So I might have to do a um, cream one with flowers and, and doilies and lace. So you're the designer. You can do anything you want. What's Andrea doing today? Are you playing? I'm getting my boxes ready for when we do uh, embellishment boxes when Brandy's feeling better. Well, I don't know if this one's going to crackle much. I'm thinking about putting some more color on this side. 
What do you think, guys? Does it need more color or should I leave it like that? You're a girly girl. This side's pretty. Grandma duty. I think that this side here needs a little bit more color. Yep. Okay, care starts. Yay. Are you leaving, Lisa? Thanks for coming in, hon. I'm going to swipe this side one more time. See if that crackles anymore. Oh, no, you can't go all weekend without crafting. Even if you just do 10 minutes. I do a lot of crafting when my hubby is home because he watches TV. He watches programs that I don't want to watch, so I'll get up and craft. So when I do this again, it's definitely going to be while it's wet. Put the color on when the crackle is wet. I think it turns out a lot better. Yep, organize. Get everything all set and ready to go so you can just get right into crafting, huh? No, I can't wait to decorate it now. So we got to tell Brandy, hurry up and get well, so we can, so we can uh, decorate. I have to go pick out all the pieces I want. I think I got some a nice uh, metal butterflies and stuff like that. Oh no, you can't go three or four weeks. <laughs> oh, I bet you go through withdrawals. Oh, I've seen some of your videos. You do beautiful work. Everybody here does beautiful work. Oh, well, kids come first, you know. Uh, there was many, many years I didn't craft because I was either paying attention to the kids or the grandkids. So 
I'm at a point now where I, I'm by myself most of the day. So I have plenty of time to craft. But we gotta take care of our family first. Yep, everybody think of Brandy. Say a little prayer. But I think she's gonna be all right. So I hope this little piece here cracks. On um, this one, this morning, I keep sticking my hands in it. This little section was solid, just solid white, and it has come up and cracked pretty good. So I did put it on pretty thick. So yeah, I think I'm gonna paint over this one. Okay, so I think that's it for today, guys. That was a quick, quick one. And um, you'll have to come by and see how they turn out after we get them all done. So I know Andrea is going to, are you going to crackle? Or are you just going to paint, Andrea? I know she's going to do pink and cream and white with pretty flowers and lace. And just getting real good with that stuff. So. I think, well, I think Brandy's going to do crackle too. Oh, do you? Well, you need to go rust. Do a rust color. Oh, you probably want that pink color though, huh? <laughs> I hardly have anything <clears throat> in pink. I give it all away. <laughs> I got pink flowers outside. Does that count? Oh, you're going to do steampunk? Okay. I don't get to see too much steampunk stuff. There's not that much out there. So I'm going to do a, a steampunk tutorial for me, please. You don't have anything metal? You don't have any steampunk stamps? I've seen them use stamps if they don't have metal. Go out and rob your hubby's garage. I'm sure there's nuts and bolts and things out there. Oops. Shouldn't have done that. Hmm. I don't know, maybe I should have. It's kind of pretty. <laughs> okay, I gotta try. <laughs> I gotta try, see what happens.
Okay, I better leave it alone, huh? Yeah, I like this color. Kind of a a dark brick color. It's gonna go nice with the other steampunk colors. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you go. I'm sure you're bored to death. Sometime this week, I'm gonna have a giveaway. It's gonna be a live giveaway. And it's gonna be a nice prize. Um, the next time I'm coming on live uh, might be Wednesday and Friday. So come in on live and I'm going to give something away. I, um, I'm doing it to celebrate my 4,000 watch time hours and I want it to be a quick one. No waiting. All you have to do is come in and I'll give it away sometime during a video within this next week, Wednesday or Friday. So, well, let's just call it Friday. Come in Friday and Friday morning, see what happens. So, I'm going to let you all go. You all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. Get out there and craft. Make something pretty. And let me see. I want to see some nice videos. Okay, guys. Thank you for sharing your afternoon with me a little bit. Glad you came back. And we'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>